bit chilly today. You can hear all the garbage men out and the cars going to work. Hello everyone. Yes, we're going with the sparkles today. Fancy top and um, sweatpants. <laughs> just to, I'm not sure if Ash and I are going out later or if we're just going to concentrate on having one night in and concentrate on getting all the gifts wrapped. Gifts wrapped? Yes, wrapped the gifts. Ashley's done the majority of them. I have some to do that she doesn't know about. Obviously I won't do those when she's around. Probably do them tomorrow while she's at work and then Pete and I go and shop in Friday night. Ash will probably come but it's going to be one of those nights where we all have to split. Just took them outside. Louis still out there. But it's rather nippy. I went out without a jacket and it's quite chilly today. One of these days we're supposed to hit 60. I don't know what day that is. Pete will be going to the school tonight to do pictures of the choir and then the the concert band and the jazz band for the yearbook. I got another message this morning. I left another message for the doctors yesterday saying, are you guys getting my messages? Because I've, I've tried cancelling my appointment four times and every day I'm getting email messages and text messages saying, don't forget your appointment. So yesterday I left another appointment early afternoon. I didn't hear back from them. I'm like, okay, whatever. I've done my bit, there's nothing else I can do. I've emailed them twice and I sent a response to the text message saying no, I've cancelled the appointment and I've left two voice messages. So this morning I'm getting ready and it says we'll see you at 12.30. I'm like, no you won't. So I call the office, it's ringing, 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 ringing and then she picks up. And I said hi and I said my name. You know, did you get my message? Oh yeah, I got your messages, I've been meaning to call you. No, I've cancelled you. I said okay, because I keep getting reminders. This system that is supposed to be a lot easier so you don't bug everybody all the time you can't even go in and actually physically cancel it through the portal thing it just sends you on a wild goose chase and it tells you to call the office so i've rescheduled for the middle of Jul january <laughs> i was gonna say july it is what it is roxy's keeping an eye to see if louis comes in because she knows as soon as louis comes in they get a biscuit don't you wish you got a treat every time you went to the bathroom <laughs> I'd be even bigger than I am now. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go edit the vlog and then I am refusing to go upstairs. I'm going to start on that room, see how far I can get because it's frustrating me now and it needs to be done. I did buy a new... I'm going to show you. <laughs> Are you really interested? Probably not. Bought a new tablecloth because we turned this room into the dining room for Christmas for everybody that's new. And we we have our two six-foot tables that we use for events and stuff. So yesterday while we were at Target, I did buy a few paper napkins. It just says, meet me under the mistletoe. There's no mistletoe, so hopefully they won't look for it. Um, some dinner napkins. And then we bought this plastic tablecloth with dogs on, with antlers and stuff. This is just for the table in here because I put all the food in here. And then it's a very nice oblong tablecloth for the table in there for Christmas. It's just... A cream colour with little gold specks in it. That is that, my friends. Target was an absolute mess last night. Every aisle stuff was on the floor. All right, Louis hasn't come up yet. Oh, he's just wandering around in the middle of the driveway. I don't know if you can see him. There's our recyclables to go out tomorrow. Yeah, there he is. Doot, 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 doot. Pete and I are going to go food shopping on Saturday. Wish us luck. Might try the Peapod, see if I can get some stuff delivered that way, depending on when or even if we just do pick up in the peapod area so i don't have to actually fight in the store because we need to go back to the store we went to on sunday and um that one will be a nightmare i got the ham and everything i just need to get everything to go with it <laughs> right off to edit the vlog i know the minute i sit down lou will want to come in but that's a chance i have to take because i need to get cracking today and no procrastination hopefully so this is the, the mess. I have put everything all over the place so I can start tidying. All this has to go on the shelves. So I've started cleaning. I have food shelves that go down the basement that Pete's father built for me. So I figured this is a good time as any to start cleaning out the shelves. Because there's a lot of old food here, tastefully simple, and packets of stuff that we thought we would eat and we didn't. So the only thing I've tidied up at the moment is this table where I put the drinks and snacks for Christmas and of course some PG tips. <laughs> Why not? I'll go through these boxes. Um, chips I found. 
that I bought last year that are just no good. Boxes I thought I would use for um, sending stuff out, but they just all got piled up on our loo roll, the English box that came. So yeah, this is where we're at. And I thought I was going to get to watch some computer vlogs while I did this, but that's not the case because I'm all over the place. So a mess it is. Here's some boxes I've emptied so far to go outside for recycling tomorrow. And I got some more cards today, but I will show you guys later. I figured I could watch something here. I don't want to watch vlogs while I'm doing this because I like to respond to vlogs and stuff. So I put Hulu on. And this is a show called This Is Us. And everyone says it's fantastic. I tried it once before and I couldn't get into it. So I figured while I'm doing this, I'd give it another go. Starting from the beginning. This Is Us. I'm taking a five minute break. I just took the dogs out. I'm still working over here. I just need to rest the back for a second. Oh, you moved. I was going to show everybody where you were sitting. Miss Follower. She was sitting right on the floor down here. Oh, that's right. Show everyone. Oh, you jump up. I'm sitting on a stool. I figured I'd just watch five minutes of this. And we were outside and it's chilly in Titloo. Park, so you've got some soaps I found to take upstairs. Are you tired? Go lay on the couch, Roxy, because i got to get up in a minute. This is my problem. I sit down now. I don't want to get back up, but I have to get cracking. The dogs are home. realize how pretty it was. I'm missing it all by cleaning. <laughs> a lot. I've got no voice. Pete just caught is on his way home. Ashley's on her way home. I just, I'm not doing any more tonight. So this is what's left. I took a lot of the boxes out to be put out for recyclables, but I want to ask Pete if I should put more out or put them somewhere and put them out next week because we don't want to put too much out. So this is all junk except the silver bag. That's our cooler. That's the good one that we use when we work leagues and stuff. We need to take drinks. This is a bedding set that's going out. Should have gone out already, so that's going to go down in the garage. And these two boxes here need to go out like I said I've been in and out so many times my neighbor just said what are you doing get ready I'm like I'm trying Oy vey. that is that I ended up very proud of myself oops hello just throw everything on the floor Sue that's all right so this top shelf now and half of the box second shelf this is all brand new this all came out of boxes that I just got so I put it all in order I know crazy um Nearly all tastes to be simple stuff except the jello. Ash and I want to make jello shots for Christmas. That's how we're going to roll this year. <laughs> Got some uh, Yorkshire pudding mix and some Paxo sage and onion stuffing. And the rest is taste to be simple. And it's all new products that came out that I've had over the different subscriptions and stuff. So I know I can use that. My basement is an absolute mess. I done as much as I can in here. There's no dusting and vacuuming done yet. But just so you can see, um, you can at least walk in now. This is our waters because you can't put them outside because right now at night they would freeze. There's my bag of English crisps. This is bags that we take to the grocery store. This is returns for Avon. There's our toilet paper. There's Ashley's and mine packing supplies for when we send out our candles. There's the food processor I bought last year after Christmas with Christmas money off of QVC and never have I used it. I can't keep it set up in the kitchen because there's no room, it's a tiny kitchen. So I just took it out of the box and I put it up there and got rid of the box. So, and I almost left this piece in. I was just picking up the styrofoam and I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh, that's the, that's the piece I need. So, it has all these attachments that came with it. It was a really good price. It was one of those easy pay things that you could do over five payments. So yeah, that's ready to use. Over here is the little alcohol station. <laughs> got some Skinny Girl vodka and more vodka and red wine that Pete's gotten for gifts. And that one we never even unwrapped, look. Um, Bailey's Irish and Kahlua. This is always in honor of Pete's father. Um, he was a clue man. If, if it was always a running joke, if you went over the house after he'd had a long day at work and he was having a clue, you stayed clear. And there's more wine behind, so we're good on wine. We just need to get beer. I've set up this area here now with all the drinks. There's a little bottles of soda. You can't really see because the light is terrible in here. 
There's some Christmas chocolates, English of course, to go out. Sue Shandy, and then there's a bunch more Shandy in that drawer. This was Ashley's first dresser when she was born. Um, twiglets, the, tree, the tree lip things. I told you I had to buy four of these because Ash is absolutely in love with them. I told her I'd get some more. I got festive cups because I am not washing glasses all night, sorry. I don't have a dishwasher. We've got some snowballs and some regular chips right now and then four big bottles of Coke. I've still got to get Diet Coke and, or Diet Pepsi. I can't remember. One of my sister-in-laws drinks Diet Coke, one drinks Diet Pepsi. They both tell me they don't care, but <laughs> then they, whatever. Um, there's Ashley's wine, and there's a couple of beers down there. And like I said, the water and my Avon books. I almost threw these out, but these are brand new ones. Why am I kicking everything? I don't know, because I can't bend. And then we got some very festive chips to put out with some salsa. Red, green, red and green. And then a Christmas cake I ordered from the Brit store. My mother-in-law likes fruit cake. I don't. But I do like the icing, I've said that a hundred times. In here I just found some Volvic waters. So I'm just unwrapping all of these and then this box can go out. And then my other box of Avon stuff can go up here. And then this is salt and vinegar that one potato, two potato. I've never seen them anywhere but Starbucks and they don't really always have the salt and vinegar and I haven't seen them in a long time. So I ordered a case. <laughs> Naughty, that was a while ago. Oh, and then. I did order a box of family circle McVitie's to put out with dessert and then, sorry I can't lift anything else, got no hands left, some savoury favourites tuck biscuits to put out with some cheese. And here I bought some, I got myself ready, I bought these to um, make dips and different things in. Ash and I are going to have a baking day on Saturday. So that my friend is all I can do for tonight. This lady, I've been waiting since 4.30 for this lady to come. I'm in the dark now, as always. <laughs> she was supposed to pick up her son's pictures today. She didn't want to get them yesterday. And she's an hour late. Now, Roxy, my phone is on 8%. My computer's on about 12%. So I need to go put everything upstairs on charge because I think I just want to sit down here tonight and relax with the Christmas tree. That's all I have on. I'm going to put the faux fireplace on. So I feel good about what I've gotten done because that, that's a big job in there and that's, that's what takes the longest. And I just need to do it on my own without everybody with me saying, oh, what you got this for? You don't need any more of that. And I'm like, leave me alone. Ah, oh, shattered Roxy. Oh, and I, I can't tell you how many spices and stuff I had that were out of date. So I have put the garbage, the garbage men and the recyclable guys are the same. They're going to hate me tomorrow because I have put six big bags of rubbish out. And um, I have two more to go out. There was some soups and baked beans and stuff that I found in the back of the cupboard that were out of date. Tut, tut, tut. Um, some was so out of date, it was insane. I'm like, I've had them that long, really? My next thing to tackle will be the kitchen. I've got to get all that stuff off the table. I hate when the table gets loaded with stuff like that. But yeah, I feel very, well, dead now, but invigorated, in, if that's even the right word, of the amount of stuff that I did manage to get done. Happy days. Pete's gonna come home, get changed, go to the school. If I had the energy, I would go with it. But to be honest with you, he goes up in, I was going to say in the rafters. He doesn't swing from the rafters. He goes up into the, what do you call it? They've made it into classrooms. Actually, maybe he won't go up there. Our school's so, we're busting at the seams with our school that they even made the top, what do they call it? Balcony, where you could look down onto the stage. They've, uh, Roxy, stop it. They've even made that into a classroom now, so he may not be able to go up there. That is it for today. Well, not for today, I'll be back. But that's it for now. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. It is 10 past eight. And uh, I'm gonna sit in bed now and watch some vlogs and some of the English shows, Carnation Street, etc., And um, just chill out. I ache like I've been to the gym after all that lugging of things today. I'm glad it's all done now. And I'm, actually, I'm more glad it's done because I forgot we have a yearbook meeting tomorrow. It's already Thursday. So Pete is going to come to the yearbook meeting at this point. 
That's what he said last week too, though. Um, so yeah, it'll be our last meeting for a couple of weeks, obviously while the kids are out of school. But we have to send the deadline. The deadline is, they gave us a few days extension, so it will be sent over the Christmas break. Ash is downstairs painting, so I didn't really want to video her painting because we don't want it to be seen on here, of course. And we just had wings and fries for dinner. I just made buffalo wings. Quite content now because it was, seems a long time ago that I had my lunch. Alright guys, I've got the little one over here. The big one came up with me over here. He's not been on his bed all day because we've been downstairs and he stayed down there with me. Red, 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 red. Alright, see you in a bit. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. This is a little bit after 11, just got the last load of laundry done for the night. Let's take off my mascara and go lay down. I did doze off for about 15 minutes and then you wake up and you wonder where you are because it's like, oh, didn't mean to do that. I was in the middle of Coronation Street as well and it was quite hectic what was going on. Pete is actually laying on the couch with the blanket so that just goes to show he's not well. He got back a little after nine. Anyway guys, I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everybody had a brilliant, brilliant Wednesday. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow.